like temperature air pressure is also an important aspect of climate air has weight but we do not feel it weight of air let us conduct an experiment to find out if air has weight take a big balloon as balloon in the figure fill it with air and tie its mouth tightly with a string weigh this balloon and make a note of the weight now remove the air from the balloon and weigh the empty balloon with the tied string you will notice that the balloon filled with air weighs more than the empty balloon this proves that air has weight because air has weight it creates pressure bar is the unit for measuring air pressure air pressure is expressed in millibars now study about factors affecting air pressure 1 temperature when the temperature rises air expands and the density of air becomes less as a result air pressure reduces as against this as the temperature decreases air contracts and its density increases and air pressure also increases generally the temperature in the equatorial region is high hence the air pressure there is low whereas the temperature is low in the polar regions and the air pressure high 2 altitude due to the pressure of the upper layers the air pressure near the surface of the land is high the height of the column of air decreases as we go high above sea level therefore air pressure is less at higher altitudes vertical distribution of air pressure air pressure varies according to the altitude this is called the vertical distribution of air pressure horizontal distribution of air pressure the air pressure is not the same horizontally over the surface of the earth it varies in the different regions this distribution of air pressure is called the horizontal distribution isobars a line joining the places on the map the same air pressure is called an isobar this figure shows the world distribution of mean annual air pressure with the help of isobars the values of air pressure are mentioned on the isobars let us study this map based on the following points make notes and try to understand the world distribution of air pressure parallel nature of isobars regions with high and low air pressure and their location with reference to latitudes the direction of isobars in the continental and oceanic regions and the distance between the isobars comparisons of isobars in the northern and southern hemisphere let us study the pressure belts in the previous lesson we have learned how temperature zones are formed on the surface of the earth similarly pressure belts are also formed from the equator to the poles they are as follows 1 equatorial low pressure belt this belt extends from the equator up to 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south latitudes In this area rays of the sun fall mostly perpendicular the air near the surface becomes hot and light as a result 
it rises upwards. This causes a low pressure belt near the surface in the equatorial region. 2. Mid-latitudinal high pressure belt Air which has risen from the equatorial region flows at a higher altitude towards the polar region. Due to the low temperature at that altitude, air becomes cold and heavy. This cool air descends between 25 degrees and 35 degrees latitudes in the northern as well as the southern hemispheres. This results in the formation of high pressure belts near the surface. 3. Subpolar low pressure belt. Air in the subpolar region gets pushed upward due to friction with the surface and the Earth's rotation. This effect is seen between 55 degrees and 65 degrees latitudes in the northern and southern hemispheres. As a result, a low pressure belt is formed in this area near the surface. 4. Polar High Pressure Belt On both the poles, the temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius throughout the year. As a result, high pressure belts are formed near the surface in the polar regions. They are called polar high pressure belts. Air pressure belts move approximately 5 degree to 7 degree north or south according to the seasons. Now let us see what is aneroid barometer. Air pressure is measured in millibars. Various types of barometers are used to measure air pressure. Let us have a look at the aneroid barometer. In an aneroid barometer, there is a metal box made of thin sheet. A vacuum is created in this box. When air pressure increases, the metal sheet gets pressed and when the air pressure reduces, it comes back to its original position. There is a lever joining the box to an indicator. Hence, the indicator moves according to the pressure on the box. Thus, we can read the effect of air pressure on the box from the dial of the barometer as the values of air pressure are marked on the dial. 1. Air pressure is 1013.2 millibars at the sea level and it reduces with the altitude. 2. The important difference between temperature zones and pressure bells is that the temperature zones are continuous and they extend from equatorial to polar regions from high temperature to low temperature. Pressure belts are not continuous and areas of high pressure and low pressure are seen in different regions as we go from the equator to the poles.